In today's video, you've shot some 30 frame per second B-roll by accident. You've done a nice pan and you realize that your timeline for your rest of your clips are 24 frames per second. Is it ruined? Maybe not. Optical flow might just save it. Let's jump into it. Hey, in this session today, we're going to take a look at uh, pans and tilts, whether it's left to right or up and down and frame rates. So if you have, for example, a 24 frame per second timeline and you have a clip that's shot at 24 seconds, the smoothness of it will be totally dependent on how good you are at moving the camera from left to right or up and down. And tip of the day is, do it as slow as you can. Most of us try to rush it, but if you're shooting in 24 frames per second and your timeline's 24 frames per second, then move it really, really slow and use a gimbal, a tripod, where you have a smooth head that will make that jitteriness uh, as smooth as possible. So what happens though if you have your camera set for 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second because you want slow motion or 120, but the rest of your clips are still at 24 frames per second because you want that cinematic look that everybody talks about. So what will that look like? So if we take a 30 frame per second clip and we drop it into a 24 frame per second sequence, what happens? So here we can see that we get a lot of jitter or shudder across as we pan across. That's because we have 30 frames divided by 24 on a timeline. That gives us a number of 1.25. And that means they don't match up evenly. So this will cause the shutter. Um, what happens if we have 30 frames and then we put it on a 30 frame timeline? In that case, they match up evenly. 30 divided by 30 is 1. So we should get a much smoother uh, pan. So we have the same issue doing uh, 60 frames per second. If you take 60 and divide it by uh, 24, you get 2.5. So this 2.5 frames have to be dropped somewhere along that second. And that's what the shutter or the jitter will be. So you can get past that though by um, running your footage on a 24 frame timeline, uh, take your 60 frame per seconds and running at 80% or 40%. So for example, 60 times 0.4 equals 24. And then 24 divided by 24 equals one. So that's an even number that it will uh, divide into. So if you take 60 frames per second and reduce it by play it back at 40%, that means that it's even with the 24 frames per second timeline. Same with 80. So either one of those will, you should not get the jitter effect to be a lot smoother. So here we are in this, uh, project panel here we have a clip itself is 60 frames per second and the sequence is set for 23.976 which is 24 frames per second so we know when we play that back it's choppy so what we need to do is just right click on this go to speed and duration and you can either set it for 80 percent by changing it to 80 percent here when you play it back it should play back a lot smoother or you can do it at 40%, which again is speed and duration, and just change that to 40%. This actually makes the clip longer, but slows it down. And because it fits mathematically into the 24 frames per second, it should be less choppy. So finally, uh, what do you do if you have something that is 30 frames per second and it can't divide equally into the 24 frames per second timeline? So what we can do is use optical flow. 
So let's jump into Premiere and take a quick look at how we can do this. And this should help. So here we have our clip again, that is 30 frames per second on a 24 frames per second timeline. So we know when we put this in because the ratio doesn't work mathematically, we get that choppiness or jittery effect as you pan along. So what we can do here is just right click, go to speed and duration, and then down here where it says time interpolation, go to optical flow, select OK, and just render this out. So just do control M and then choose your settings that you want to set. And you can render it out with along with the 24 frames per second clips that you have on the timeline. The optical flow setting also works really well with drone footage. When you're up in the air and you're turning left to right panning or just coming down or descending like this footage here, the optical flow really helps to smooth it out. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you're so inclined, uh, if this gave you any help, please consider subscribing and check out some of our other videos. See you next time.